Blog Talk Radio. Live. Worldwide. Delivering. With your host, Jay Bartlett. For the next few minutes, Jay will be exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you are about to experience Deliverance. God spoke to me so very clearly not too long ago in Southern California. Abba told me that we, the church, are in the golden age of heavenly encounters. In the golden age of heavenly encounters. Those were his exact words. We are, my friends, in the golden age of heavenly encounters. In other words... We are in a supernatural era in church history where God is desiring to transport his children to his eternal home. My friends, because the world is increasingly dark and demonic, God is visiting the earth in some unusual manners, which includes taking souls to the third heaven and experiencing heavenly wonders and more importantly, his love. We are my friends, in the middle of a spiritual renaissance, a golden age. Not only of heavenly encounters, I should also add of miracles, miraculous signs and wonders. We are in the golden age of miracles. I fully understand we're in the midst of immense darkness. The days are quite demonic and darkened. However, I also see the glorious supernatural light shining on the Holy Spirit's re-emerging work to carry souls to the third heaven, to bring about deliverance, to bring about healing. My friends, we are in the midst of a supernatural historical moment. We are in the golden age of miracles, and that's exactly what I want to talk about today on Deliverance. I'm Jay Barland. And I'll be here for the next few minutes or so exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you're about to experience deliverance, my friend. to another thrilling edition of Deliverance with Jay Bartlett. These compelling podcasts are transformative, astounding, and inspiring. Lives are being encouraged, empowered, healed, restored, and liberated. Take a moment and support this global mission with a donation at jbartlettmissions.com. Visit the donate page and consider giving a recurring monthly donation. That's jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519. Thank you for your support to keep this worldwide mission alive. God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com
welcome back to Deliverance. I'm Jay Bartlett. Thank you for taking a few moments to be with us as we discuss the golden age of miracles. My friends, we're in the golden age of miracles. And in my book, speaking about golden age to miracles, I'm in my hands is a beautiful book that we just released titled Caught Up Into the Third Heaven. This is a one of a kind book that chronicles some of the supernatural experiences people are having in our meetings and, and our ministry events where they're being caught up by the power of God into the third heaven. In fact, chapter five, I'm looking at chapter five right now. It's titled Supernatural Stories of Being Caught Up into the Third Heaven. The chapter begins off by saying we have seen some of the most astounding miracles, signs, and wonders known in church history. We are recording these amazing acts of the supernatural so that future generations may know that Jesus is alive and still able to perform mighty miracles in our midst. Moreover, so that they may know that God desires for his children to be caught up into the third heaven, his glorious eternal home. My friends, I believe we're in the golden age of not only heavenly encounters, but also the golden age of miracles in every meeting. We're seeing the most extraordinary, astounding signs and wonders documented in church history. Amazing, spectacular, epic signs and wonders. Not that long ago in Southern California. I mean, it was just a phenomenal night of ministry. It was when we were still, it was pre Pandemic, we were holding a service in Pasadena, California, at our Jesus Church evening service, where numerous explosive signs and wonders took place. Our meeting hall was completely jam-packed. In fact, in the back of the hall, numerous individuals were standing watching as many miracles, signs and wonders, spiritual fireworks took place. I was just simply stunned at the amount of miraculous wonders we are witnessing in our meetings. An individual from British Columbia, Western Canada, even Southeast Asia traveled in for our series of meetings there in Pasadena, in Southern California. I mean, where do, where do I begin to share? I mean, the, 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 the miracles that took place, all night long souls were healed, cured. Delivered from demonic powers. One of the individuals I ministered to was this this young woman. And as I began to pray with her, numerous demons surfaced, including some stubborn, strong, aggressive witchcraft spirits. With loud, loud, loud cries and screams, they surfaced. Not only many demons surfaced, but also a soul invader, a witch doctor. She had been cursing her with spells of destruction and control. I'm stronger than everyone here in this room, the witch declared before the crowded hall. I'm not afraid. I'm here to control and destroy her. Boastful, yet very scared of the presence of God, this inner witch surfaced with anger and yet fell to the ground, withering in defeat. She contorted her body as the attentive crowd looked on as Jesus Christ was overcoming the powers of evil within this woman. At one point, I brought out my cross of deliverance. The witch was petrified. Her eyes widened with fear. The cross was too much for her to bear. And we forced this witch out in the name of Jesus Christ, and she departed. The evil spirit surfaced. Lucifer, Jezebel, death, and witchcraft. All of them battled me. I called forth the holy angels of the living God, and they swiftly arrived and brought out their swords, their spears. One holy angel even had some holy fire, the swords, the spears, and the holy fire of God were utilized and defeated the powers of evil. The massive volume of angelic activity and miracles, what we were just seeing is astounding. I often run out of adjectives to describe the amazing, incredible angelic wonders that are taking place in our meetings and services and ministry events Around the world, there's that many. And that night, that audience was in awe, in awe of the superior powers of Jesus Christ. Not only was this woman set free, others were set free. 
Some were set free from thousands of years of witchcraft curses and bondages. And, and, and for example, that lady that was set free, she had thousands of years of witchcraft in her ancestral bloodline. As the demons entered the abyss, but they were able to get in because of the curses from prior generations. And I might add, she was also beautifully, physically healed and cured of various ailments, torments, and sicknesses. We also discovered in the midst of the ministry with this woman, with the witchcraft spirits, that there were many broken heart parts that needed the love, the comfort, and the healing of Jesus. They were quickly guided to the Savior in the third heaven, and she was immediately caught up into the heavenly realms and encountered some of the most amazing wonders one could possibly experience in God's eternal home. It was just beautiful to behold. The highlight was perhaps when she was tickled by Jesus Christ and his holy angels. She was so tickled so much. It brought so much healing, the love, the joy, the comfort to her shattered soul. God healed her. And speaking about heavenly experiences, again, in my hands, a beautiful book, my newest book, titled Caught Up Into the Third Heaven, where I describe individuals. I actually share supernatural stories of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the most incredible wonders, heavenly wonders. And I list some of the incredible supernaturalism people are experiencing where they're meeting their guardian angel, encountering deceased loved ones, though they're very much alive in heaven, obviously, Receiving divine instructions for life, receiving God's amazing love, peace, and healing, meeting the Heavenly Father in the throne room, and so much more. And I'm just, I'm just astounded. We are truly in the middle of a spiritual renaissance, a golden age. Despite the fact that we're in the midst of immense darkness, I understand the days are wicked, demonic, darkened. However, I also see the glorious supernatural light shining on the Holy Spirit's re-emerging work in carrying souls to the third heaven. We are in the midst of a supernatural historical moment. I believe, I believe we are in the golden age of miracles, golden age of heavenly encounters. And by the way, this, this book's available on Amazon.com. Caught up into the third heaven. Caught up into the third heaven. I would encourage you to get your copy or simply go to our website, jbartlandmissions.com. That's jbartlandmissions.com and obtain, get a, get a handful of copies and send them out to loved ones, friends, non-believers, those who are needing a touch from Jesus Christ. There's so much more I want to share as we continue this discussion on the golden age of miracles. I'll be right back after this brief intermission. You are listening to another thrilling edition of Deliverance with Jay Bartlett. These compelling podcasts are transformative, astounding, and inspiring. Lives are being encouraged, empowered, healed, restored, and liberated. Take a moment and support this global mission with a donation at jbartlettmissions.com. Visit the donate page and consider giving a recurring monthly donation. That's jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519. Thank you for your support to keep this worldwide mission alive. 
God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com I'm Jay Bartlett. Thank you for taking a few moments to be with us as we continue the discussion on Golden Age of Miracles. It's recorded in the book of Acts that Stephen was full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. He did miracles, signs of wonders and miracles. God wants to use you too, my friends. God wants to use you too. He wants to raise up an army to perform signs and wonders and miraculous supernatural acts. In John chapter 14, Jesus, it's, it's, the, it's the Lord's desire for everyone who knows him to do his very works. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. God is wanting to raise you up, my friend, to perform great signs and wonders. We are in the golden age of miracles, my friends, and God wants to use you. Use you. Now, perhaps you're listening to this podcast and you don't even know the Lord Jesus Christ. I would highly recommend today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to repent and believe unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says so very clearly, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can be saved today. Open your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just simply... Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. Just say, Lord Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, save me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your power. Fill me with your love, your joy, your strength. Cleanse me. I turn from sin and wickedness and I turn to you, Jesus Christ, and I promise to follow you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Please, please let me know that you prayed that prayer. Just simply email me at j j a y at jbartlandmissions.com. That's j j a y at jbartlandmissions.com. And let me know that you prayed that prayer of salvation. I want to welcome you to the family of God. Welcome you to the family of God. Now, 
I would encourage you to get to our website, jbartlandmissions.com. Get some resources so you may be equipped to, to perform the miraculous. So you may be equipped to perform signs and wonders. We are in the golden age of miracles, of heavenly wonders, and God wants to use you, my friend. God wants to use you. And we're here to help you, to facilitate, to assist you in doing just that. Performing greater works that Jesus promised that we would do in John 14. If you ask any, anything in my name, I will do it. He wants to use you, my friend, to raise the dead, to cure the sick, to cast out demons. There's so much work to do on this planet, on this on this earth. He says, go. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. I'm wanting to see you to go into all the world. And God is going to raise up a spiritual army to perform miracles in Jesus' name. I bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been a production of the Good News Podcasting Network based in sunny Southern California. Feel free to contact for more information on the Deliverance Podcast at jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519.